Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So there's not too many review videos about different potting soils on YouTube. So like when you're trying to grow container plants, um, it's very, very, uh, very imperative that you get a soil that's very light and fluffy. And uh, the reasoning for that is because your plants need to breathe, actually. And some soils that even claim that they're potting soils are way too heavy for your plants. So I'm gonna show you the difference between different potting soils. Now, I'm not trying to sound snooty, but I really think the soil that you buy at the big box store is pretty much garbage. A lot of the type of soils like Miracle Grow, Kellogg, Stay Green, Scotts, all those type of potting soils are pretty much garbage. Um, and I am guilty as a lot of people um, of buying them especially they're on sale, you need soil, you want to plant a couple of things in some pots, and what do you do? You grab a bag at Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart or Target, and then what happens is your plants don't do so well. And uh, what happens is a lot of times with a lot of these soils that claim that they're potting soils or potting mixes, the problem, the main problem of them is that they're very heavy. It's like actually a bag of cement. So for example, here's Stay Green, and it was sold at Lowe's, I believe. And so this is a 1.5 cubic foot bag, I believe, or 32, yeah. It's one and a quarter cubic feet, and it's 32 dry quarts. And look at this horrible soil. It weighs a ton, a ton. I can't even pick it up right now. I'm struggling. And so here's Stay Green potting mix. Now, potting mix needs to be light and fluffy and airy. This is just such heavy soil. It weighs a ton in my hand. So what's gonna happen is when you plant your veggies or your flowers or your herbs, this is gonna weigh down on the roots of your plant. When it rains, your roots are gonna get compacted and they're gonna dry, um, they're gonna drown actually. You're gonna get soil gnats. And what also is gonna happen is, is that your plant is not gonna be able to grow. It's gonna, you know, pretty much not flourish. So look how this compacts when I squeeze it. And this is really heavy, heavy soil. It weighs about 40 pounds, this bag. And so there's one. All right. Now, the next one is Kellogg. It's a uh, Kellogg Organics. And this stuff is awful, absolutely awful. So this one is a potting mix. Now there is a difference between potting mix and potting soil, but a lot of people think that, oh, it says potting. So, because the word potting is in there, they think it's gonna be perfect for their containers. And it's saying, um, the premium mix for outdoor containers, blah, blah, blah. And it's really not. It's very, very heavy soil. And this is equivalent to a bag of cement. I kid you not. So here's what it looks like. It's filled with sticks. And I just opened this bag and it stinks to high heaven of mold and mildew. And a big problem with these big box stores is they store a lot of their soils outdoors. And when it gets wet, these bags have little breathing holes in it. And these these, uh, the soil actually sours and goes bad. And it um, gets filled with mold and fungus. But look how heavy the soil is. It's really weighing down my hand. It's covered in loads of sticks, has very little perlite in it. Actually, the stay, um, the stay green had like no perlite in it. That's the even heavier soil. And so that's the consistency of it. If you drop the soil, it makes a thumping sound. <laughs> now we're gonna see a better soil. Now this was a real pain in the butt for me to get. What happened was, was none of the big box stores had it, this black gold natural and organic potting soil. And I had to, actually jumped through hoops to get it. So I had to have it shipped to my Ace Hardware store and it took seven days. And none of the nurseries around here had it. Lowe's didn't have it, Home Depot, Walmart, none of, none of them. So I don't know, wherever you are regionally, you may be able to get it, but here on Long Island, I was not. Okay, so here's why I think this is superior. Let me show you. Okay, look how light and fluffy this is. Now the bag, when it was filled to the top, I picked it up with one hand and was able to just carry it very easily. These bags, it's a major struggle. They are like bags of cement. This weighed probably 20 pounds. 
These bags here, the same amount of soil, weighed about 40. Now look how light and airy and fluffy the soil is. It just falls right through my fingers and it has a lot of perlite in it. So that's gonna give your plants plenty of room to breathe, not become waterlogged and drown, and to grow. Now watch as it falls right through my fingers. And you don't hear that loud thumping sound. That's great. Now, my guess is this has a lot of peat moss in it, which makes it very spongy. So I haven't tried it yet. This is my first time using it, but out of all these soils that you get at the big box store, and I also tried Dr. Earth's, um, which is another very good potting soil, but Dr. Earth's was just as heavy as these potting mixes. Um, here, here's an example. I have mulch on it, actually. Let me move aside the mulch. And that's what Dr. Earth's looks like. It's a very heavy soil. Very, very heavy. So now I think out of all of them, the lightest and the fluffiest happens to be the black gold. And I highly recommend it. Now, we're going to have to see what happens with the veggies. Now, this is what it looks like after I watered it. It does have a hell of a lot of perlite in it, which may be a bad thing. I don't know yet. But it does make the soil a lot lighter and fluffier. Now I did add some compost to it. I added uh, actually uh, worm castings and I also added something called Tanks Green Stuff 100 Super Mix and that's another kind of fertilizer and I mixed it into the soil as well because I'm not sure how much nutrients this has. It looks very peat moss like. It doesn't look like it has a lot of substance to it so I did add I did make a little amendment to it but it's light and that's what I need here for my pots so once again thanks for watching my review now you know the difference between the consistencies of these soils and you can get pretty much an idea um, if you're growing certain things in containers now you can see what the different soils look like and I wish someone had made videos like this on YouTube um, when I was buying all this stuff and wasted all this money because I would have just went with the black gold for the pots. Thanks for watching.